My God Thought Today is linked with Kelly reminding us on Sunday that God's plans are always bigger and better than we can anticipate. I've been aware recently that God often surprises us in those plans and in the ways that he meets our needs. The other day, on a very early morning dog walk in the woods, two of my sisters saw a goldfinch. I've never seen a goldfinch, but I know that them seeing one brought them immense pleasure and joy as they appreciated the delicate yet bold beauty of this very small bird at the beginning of their day. I believe that God surprised them with joy through the beauty of his creation that morning, blessing them, and by lifting their spirits, he met a need in them both. Philippians tells us that our Heavenly Father will meet every need that we have. And during the last couple of weeks, I've been reminded that Matthew 6 verse 8 gives us another perspective on this. It tells us that God knows what we need before we ask him. God knows what we need before we ask him. Let me give you an example of this that happened within our church very recently. The children had been thinking in fire starters about things that were precious to them and to help them remember what we had been talking about, each child was given a few sparkly and rather beautiful coloured stones, which of course they all loved. A week or so later, I happened to see one of the children chatting to a member of the congregation and excitedly showing her some of the sparkly stones which she had brought with her to church that day and she gave the lady a couple of these. The lady was deeply touched by the child's kindness and told her that she would keep the stones in her jewellery box. In subsequent weeks, there were conversations whenever the two of them met, and each time the lady reiterated that the child's kindness had meant a great deal to her and that she looked at the stones every day. One week, she also mentioned that the day this had happened, she had been sad and that the beautiful stones had cheered her up. Later, I asked the church member about this and she shared with me that on that day she had been in a dark place and the child's kindness had lifted her spirit and reassured her that God's hand of love was on her life and he would meet her needs. God had used a child to fulfil his word that he knows what we need before we ask him. Children are such a blessing. They see the world in its complexity in a totally different way from adults. And if we listen to them, we will notice that they are often the means of God speaking to us in special and memorable ways. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the gift of each precious child and young person within our church family. Amen. Amen.